Hello Mercedes lovers. Today I decided to replace my EGR valve. The reason is because I was doing an intake um, leak test and I noticed that uh, my EGR valve was leaking extensively around the stem. So here I'm just repeating the same test using the smoke machine. Uh, this is, I just uh, initialized uh, the machine. I'm just waiting for the machine to warm up and start generating some smoke. Okay, so now I can see that the uh, smoke starts coming out. And we can uh, adjust the flow using that uh, pressure regulating valve. To get the test ready, uh, we need to remove the intake filter uh, housing and uh, plug that opening with a rubber glove okay now I'm just gonna reconnect power to the smoke machine and as soon as the smoke machine start generating some smoke I'm gonna connect it to a intake hose So the easiest place to inject the smoke is the vacuum hose going to the fuel pressure regulator. So I just pulled the hose off and connected my uh, hose from the vacuum machine to this uh, little line. So now just need to go over the engine and see if you noticed any smoke coming out. Okay, I'm looking at my glove that does not really inflate, so need to add a little bit more flow. Let's check the flow. Okay, so I can see that the smoke's coming. So we should be okay. Now I'm looking around the engine to see if I see any signs of smoke coming out. And this was the area on the previous test that I noticed a lot of smoke. And now, I don't really see any smoke coming out, which is really confusing. So I'm looking again at the EGR valve and in the area that I saw the smoke coming before and I don't see anything. But I'm going to replace the valve anyway since I already bought a new valve. So to get access to the EGR valve, we need to remove the air duct or air intake duct. So taking all the temperature sensor connection and uh, loosen the band and pull the uh, that air duct off. Put the nuts back so you don't lose them. Now just disconnecting the vacuum lines just to make sure that I don't forget them. Now, in order to get there, first we need to remove the secondary air injection system valve. And for that, we need to remove the tube that runs from the air pump to the valve. And that tube is held in place by two nuts that um, connect it to the exhaust manifold. So after that, we need to remove the 90 degree rubber elbow from the valve just loosen it up okay and then reach down below and disconnect the rubber hose from the air pump
So now we can remove the secondary air injection shadow valve. There's one little screw holding the valve to the bracket and there's another screw holding the tube uh, to the engine block. So remove those two uh, bolts and you can uh, remove that uh, shadow valve. And careful, there's gonna be a little metal gasket with rubber ring at the end of the tube, so don't lose it when you pull the valve out. Now we can proceed removing the EGR valve. First, what you want to do is crack loose the little screw that holds the EGR valve to the bracket, and then you want to loosen up the two nuts on the tubing that's connected to the EGR valve. Um, this is a 19 millimeter wrench. Um, it's a little bit tight, but uh, you can uh, you can uh, take your time and uh, loosen up those two nuts. Um, the one tube that's connected to the uh, exhaust manifold, you just want to disconnect the nut that's connected to the exhaust manifold, not the one at the EGR valve. So after you've pulled back the two nuts on the tube connections, you can remove this, the mounting screw for the AGR valve and try and remove uh, the AGR valve um, from its position. It might take a little bit of effort because those are compression fittings, so uh, eventually you should be able to pull it back. So loosely reconnect the 90 degree tube to the new EGR valve. Position the EGR valve in place and hand tighten the mounting screw. After that you can reconnect all the tubes and start tightening all the compression fittings. So after you've tightened all the compression fittings, you can tighten the mounting screw. And now you can reinstall the secondary air injection shut off valve in place and all the rest of the tubes and the air intake. Don't forget to reconnect all the vacuum lines 